This video is part two of a small branding mini-series, where I challenge myself to create a branding pack in just a few minutes. Our first episode was focused on creating the logo, which is this amazing crop design you see here. And today we are going to take the photo of another marine creature and turn that into business cards. First things first, let's set up the canvas. So tap on plus, new document, and then up here we have the option to create a custom size. Let's name my document. The design process can be chaos, so let's minimize that by staying organized. A standard business card is 85 by 55. Millimeters, that is. You can also create a template by turning this toggle on, and then name it business card size or, mm, I don't know, something like that. I already did that before this tutorial, so I suggest you do it too. It will be useful later. All right, here we go. We need to create another artboard. That's because we are designing the front and the back of the card. And here's where saving your template helps. Told you it will come in handy. Let's move it underneath, for no reason, apart from the fact that it looks nicer on the screen. Remember that thing I said about being organized? Time to rename the artboards front and back so it doesn't get messy. And let's start with the background. Let's select a color from my palette and then, with the shape tool, just create a rectangle that covers the entire artboard. Lock your background or any objects that you don't want to edit or move. We are doing the same for the back. This might look like white on screen, but don't let your eyes fool you. It's a cream color, which is a million times better. Now, for the front, we are going to pull out the logo we created in the last episode, so if you want to have it in your templates, be sure you watch our previous tutorial. To save your crop to the templates, it's super easy. All you need to do is make your selection, tap on plus, and on this other plus. Now your crop is always ready to go. Ok, now with this in place, adjust the size and the position until it's less huge. And we need to align this bad boy. Go to Quick Actions, Alignment, then tap on these two buttons, Vertical and Horizontal. Ok, looks good. But let's create something new. So let's move on to the back. So I'm making a new layer. Oh no 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 no, I didn't select the back artboard, so let's move it super quick, ok? You didn't see that. Ok, here we want to add an image, so let's go to our library tab and select this clam that I've downloaded from Heritage Time. I'm their biggest fan, right? Now from the style tab, I have auto trace at the very top. Change contrast and complexity. Ignore white is on, the only thing I really care about. Time to hit auto trace. Beautiful! Let's make it orange as well. And place it in this upper corner here. The idea is to make space for all your business card info. Let's balance that out, so activate duplicate mode. Drag and drop the clam anywhere on the canvas. Deactivate duplicate mode, rotate it, and position the second shell in this corner. Like this. Great. Time for the text. I always try to use off black instead of pure black for any of my projects. Here I'm making sure the typeface is what I want, the text size and tracking all are correct. I experimented a bit before this video, so this is what I decided on. I went for catering to go with the food team. I like to fit bounce to text size, cause then the text is much easier to manipulate. Move it up. And now for the second text. You can really see me at work, right? Let's change the font. Medium is better. Change the size. I know it looks tiny, but it's elegant. And then write your name, phone number, email address and any contact information you want to give away. By the way, don't go to this web page, please. It's just weird. It bounce to text size. Let's move the text a bit. If you hold down one finger, you will move the text along the same vertical line. This looks better, right? Right. Okay, now that we are all happy, let's end the tutorial here. This has been one exciting auto trace ride. Follow us for more types of tutorials, not just auto trace, I promise. So see you in my next video for more design tips, tricks, theory, inspiration and motivation, all you want.